Committee will come to order. And a few months back, uh, Mr. Johnson laid out four principles for reforming DI, all of which I fully endorse. First, no 20% cut. Stop that from happening. Not going to happen. Second, make sure that all the benefits are paid on time. Third, make the program work better. Fourth, help people who can and want to work get back to work. The rules actually make it harder for people to work more. Here's the crux of it. If you just make one dollar more than you are allowed, you get kicked off the program. In other words, it is a lot safer to stay on the sidelines. I also want to thank our witnesses for joining us here today. Every one of you here brings a unique perspective on disability insurance, and we're very interested in hearing your perspective. So I want to thank you again for taking the time to share your expertise. Your full written statement will be included as a part of the record. And um, Mr. Um, uh, Zelli, why don't we start with you? Good morning, Chairman Ryan and Ranking Member Levin from Michigan, as I am, uh, and members of the Ways and Means Committee. I'm honored to speak to you today regarding barriers to work uh, actually caused by our Social Security Disability Insurance System, which I'll call DI. I strongly encourage you to consider a proposal to ramp off the current wage cliff associated with SEA that prevents people from the American dream of independence and freedom. Our policies discourage work, force people into spectator stands, watching the world go by, and we know life is not a spectator sport. We need people in the game, in the economy, working, all of our people. A recent study, uh, ACS from Cornell, showed that there are half a million working age people with disabilities in Michigan who are not working, and yet 43% of them have a college education or degree. What is wrong with this picture? Leaders from across the nation, you'll hear today, like Randy Lewis from Walgreens, Rick Keyes from Meyer in Michigan, uh, Jeannie Stone from Fredricon, are publicly stating that they want to hire not only people with disabilities, 20%. They see the talent, dependability, motivation, and improved workforce that occurs when people with disabilities are back in the workforce. So you have the opportunity to make a difference to replace a fear-driven, poverty-entrapping system with a simple ramp-off change. Don't let our intended safety net system continue to actually trap people in a poverty net like a spider web rather than help them bounce back to work like a trampoline. So thank you for this opportunity to appear before you today and I look forward to any questions you may have. When I was first injured uh, and I'm laying in intensive care with bolts in my head on a striker frame thinking uh, you know, we would depend on our faith and family and friends to get us through and I just my life was over. What can I do? I, I have these children I can't provide for. And my brother-in-law, Gene Hamilton, brought in a fellow in a wheelchair, a friend of his, the same level as injury as I had. And he started talking about life in a wheelchair and come to find out he was make a stockbroker making a lot of money. Hmm. And I thought to myself, it was an epiphany. Well, if he can do it, if he can have a career, if he can make money, I can do it. And so that just changed everything, that peer support. Uh, there's organizations called Center for Independent Living. So they're made up of, governed by, led by people with disabilities who are working. And I encourage you to support that, engage, and Social Security engage with them early on, early on as people apply. Because when you see somebody else and you get that peer support, it's a bridge to work. It's, yes, I can. Mr. Zelli, you just summed it up. That was the best testimony of the day, your story right there. So I applaud you uh, in your story. I truly and honestly do. I hear is proactive, get into it early, educate individuals, and then stand with those individuals as they go back to work. Correct. Thank you. With that, I yield back. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, I thought this was a very insightful hearing. I want to thank uh, each of you for bringing your fantastic testimony very enlightening. Um, this, hearing, this hearing stands adjourned.